Hi, this is Pastor Rick. Glad you joined me today. I want to talk to you about a way that you can um, remember some really important elements of prayer. And uh, I'm going to do two things today. The first one is you can use the word ACTS, A-C-T-S, and that's adoration, confession, thanksgiving, and supplication. Let's just talk about the first one. When you talk to God, and that is what prayer is, it's talking with God and then being quiet, listening. The first thing we should always do is, is to express our worship of God. He's worthy of our worship, and so the first thing we always ought to do is just thank God that He is, that He's created us, that He's given us life, that He uh, never changes, He's given us His Son, and so forth. All the reasons why we can just worship Him for who He is. The second one is we need to be honest and confess our sin before God. Did you know that he already knows all of your sin anyway? So you might as well tell him that you admit it and ask him to forgive you of your sin. And then ask him to give you the power to resist temptation to sin. And uh, the third thing you always ought to do is to give God thanks. We're soon approaching Thanksgiving Day. I'm going to make a suggestion that you make every day a Thanksgiving day. It's good for you to give thanks. It will change your outlook to an up, upward look and um, give you a reason to be encouraged every day. Even when your circumstances aren't what you would like them to be, you can always find something to give thanks and that will lift you up greatly. So give thanks. And then the last one is supplication, which is means you pray. You pray to God for other people and you pray to God for the things that are needed in your life uh, and that's supplication. Now somebody might ask me, well Pastor Rick, how can I remember who to pray for? Well, let me give you another way to do that. I'll just use my hand and I'm going to say first pray for those that are close to you. Uh, people that you work with, people that are your neighbors, people in your family that are close to you, and remember to pray for them every day. Second, pray for those who are teach, teach you. Could be someone at where you work that has helped you greatly. It could be a teacher uh, who teaches you. It could be a, a pastor, but someone who teaches you. And remember to pray for them every day, that we all need your prayers. And then remember to pray for those who are over us in authority. Um, the uh, reason we ought to do that, we, well, we should start by praying for our president and for our Congress and our governors and our mayors because they certainly need our prayers, don't they? And uh, so pray for those who are over us in authority. And then pray for those that are weak. This is the, the weak finger on, on our hand. And if you remember to pray for those that are weak, the least of us, but not the those who are not important, they're all important, everyone's important, but pray for those who are weaker than you are because they certainly need your prayers. And last of all, oh yeah, pray for yourself. The little, the little finger reminds you to pray for yourself every day, especially that you might resist temptation, that you might have wisdom from God. And I know that God will lift you up, encourage you, strengthen you. You can trust Him. God bless you.